Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So just past the mine where we were picking up um, lead, I ran into some iron, which is awesome. I was really looking for stone, so I decided just to go past my lead mine and I just ran right into iron. So I think it's connected to the lead. Got a lot of uh, zombies upstairs that are angry at me. So right past the lead here, I found this node of iron, which is beautiful. I got a ton of stone. A little bit of lead, a little bit of iron. So I'm gonna take this stuff back upstairs. Deal with the zombies. Now they've been banging on stuff up here. So I think they're, you know what? Let's do this. Um, what are they banging on out there? Oh, they broke through my, um, and we wanna go on face like this and this. Yeah, they better be outside. They're right at the front door, I think. Oh, they didn't break through. Did I kill all three in one shot? Oh my god, I killed all three dogs in one shot. It was a dog wandering horde. I don't see him over there. Uh, maybe he can't get in. Let's see if we can harvest these dogs. Oh yeah. Nice. So yeah, I ran into some iron last night, so we're going to set that going in the forge before we leave. We're going to get some... stone... Um, melting down the forge, I think. Oop, here he comes. There you are. Come on, buddy. Bring it in. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Okay, I'm kind of glad they came here and not trying to break through the wall. Although I did hear beating on the wall someplace. I don't know which wall they were beating on. I was like, eh, it's only one zombie and I can repair the wall. Another dog out there. Huh. Well, if he comes around, why is this not drying? This was the block, remember I said before, this block wasn't drying? It finally dried and I upgraded it like, I don't know how many episodes ago and it's still waiting to dry. It's this one anomaly block that just does not want to follow the rules. All right, um, so we got 266, 477 sand now. Do we have any, we don't have any cement mix left. So 13, we got say 7,000, wait, we got more here. So 8,000. So 7,500, let's say. So 2,500 needs to go into... We'll melt that. And then so let's do that first. Get you going in here. Um, I don't know. That's four per... So that's what 48 divided by 50 to 96 maybe no way not, not that much I'm gonna put set I don't think it no it can't take that much we'll get that started if it does I mean we'll melt it. we'll worry about it later but let's get this in here so that's going to be, we got our bellows there, so probably a little more than seven, but we'll go with seven. I want to get all this into here. Um, so 13, 20, maybe like 19 or 18, something like that. Start with 18. Okay, perfect. I hear you, you fucker. Oh, what am I doing? Thinking of one thing, doing something else. That's what I'm doing. Oops, lead, uh, this goes in there. Um, yeah, he's at the back door. So let's make uh, 2,500 sand. So that should probably do us. Let's go put these in here. 
There's more than one out there. Holy crap. A lot of dogs. You're in the wrong container. All right, you can go in here. Let's get something to eat. We have any bacon and eggs left? We do. Let's go ahead and use one of you guys. Use one of you guys. Drop this back in here. So we are going to go out and go to the other... God damn it. How many dogs? How many? Put you in there. I'm going to put you in there because we're not... I don't think we're leaving the town today. We need this for the lock container in the back. Right? Oh, fuck's sakes. I harvested the crops last night, too. I gotta fix this roof. Where are you guys? <laughs> Fuck you. Just the two of them? That's all I can hear. Alright. Just the two of them. It's just the two of them. Alright, let's grab a couple of more pipe bombs. I'm not going to be leaving home without pipe bombs from now on because uh, we've seen how bad it's been without it. So, yeah, what I was talking about the other day, if we can just jump this. Yeah, nope. You can't. What I was talking about the other day is I'm going to leave these stairs in here. I'm going to flatten this out a little bit. Maybe that's going to overhang this way a bit. But then out from here, we're going to build out. And then the drawbridge is going to come down to here. So I might take these stairs out and make them like a, a smoother ramp block that goes down there a bit. So we can ride the bike up and then park it up here. It's just a thought. I don't know. I might leave it as stairs. We'll leave the bike park down there. But we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go over to this, this crack of books. See if we can get lucky today. Okay, we're going to pull around, park the bike out here. Ooh, something disconnected. Oh, my external hard drive for some reason disconnected. That's alright though. We don't have to worry about that. It's got nothing going on it. Not sure why it disconnected, but... Alright, let's loot these cars where we're going to wrench them apart. I thought I saw a bird chasing me when I was on the bike, but I don't see it here now. So I was going I initially was worried about our fuel situation moving forward. But I'm not that worried about it now. I gotta, you know, as long as we're doing jobs... I wonder if this is steel. Apparently not. Um, that might be though. We can... You know, take jobs and then, you know, just be um, wrenching apart cars. Wrench apart the car before we start the job and then wrench them apart again when we do the job. So we should be able to just like maintain our gas. Enough to gas, all we need is enough gas to get to where we're going. And then we can wrench cars and come back. Alright, so this is a clear areas. Tier 3, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Kenny. What's up, buddy? Not much, apparently, huh? So we got another one sleeping in the front here. Got no banjo cash registers, unfortunately. Oh, sucks to be you. That sounded like a zombie dying out there. As long as it's not a bear wandering around. It seems like every time we enter a crack a book, a bear shows up. Still alive. Still alive. Not alive. Fuck, we gotta go loud with these last two. Here they come. Ah, shit, I missed. Well, they're not runners. Oh, it's a fetch clear. All right, not so bad. Doing like infinitely better than we did the last time we were in this building. 
So, I was mistaken last time when I talked about... Oh, that's gotta hurt. We went right off the coffee machine. Um, when I was talking about the, uh... Muffled connectors. So yeah, I'm, you know, I'm running muffled connectors on padded armor, which technically does not reduce the sound on them. It's only on... Okay. It's only on those things that create sound. Uh-huh. Right behind the fucking door. So I moved the muffled connectors over to my leather um, gloves. Only fools rush in, buddy. We got one more sleeper out here. He's in. Oh, he's right here. What you get for sleeping on the job? What have we said in the past? Oh, you know what? I forgot to loot this in the last place. I went up on the roof, I dropped down, and I went through the inside. I'm going to have to remember to, like, loot this before we go through to the rest of the building next time. That's if we get another book book quest. But if, when we're out there next time, I'm going to have to go back in. And re-loot the back here. Fucking paper. I don't need paper, man. I got so much fucking paper, it's ridiculous. Actually, let's do this now. Yep, bear. Pretty sure I heard a bear. Don't need you. Right there. I should just throw a pipe bomb at him, but I don't think we get sneak damage with a pipe bomb. <laughs> it might be worth it, but... It'd be nice if we did, like, get, like, times five sneak damage with a pipe bomb. He wasn't expecting it to get his ass blown up, but it did happen. I right, take that. Um, it's in this box. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to loot those places. All right, we'll keep the shotgun out for upstairs. I wonder. Because those gloves added a 10% noise increase. Now it's down to 2%. I wonder if we can sneak through now without those guys hearing us over here. Did not see any tracks. This is where they attacked us last time. Okay. I guess it's just random. Oh, there we go. It could be the fact that this is a quest too, right? There's the other guy. I love it when they run at you and their head spins around like that. Now this is probably empty. Yeah. Alright, what do we got in here? This is our... Sanchil. Nice. Okay, that part's done. Let's deal with these guys down here and we'll finish this place. Getting good at this place now. Now, I think... Like, they don't... Sp Spawn, I don't think, until you drop into a certain spot. Let's turn the light off. There's a biker over there. We got a girl down here. We got three over there. Heh. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Two of them survived. That's because they're both feral, I think. 
see if we can kill her. Nope. She's frail too. Well, that guy's like... Nothing left. Look at this guy. He's like, I wonder if I stay, like, asleep. That bear's gonna break in. Is he... The zombie fighting the bear? Never brought a hammer today. Should have brought a hammer again. Oh shit, don't break in. Uh, do we help them? Come on, doggy. I got something for you. Trick or fucking treat. Come on, do it. Break the door. You know you want to. Motherfucker. Hey, Mo. Bring it on in. Where's that bear? Mo, where's the bear? Where's the bear, Mo? I don't think he knows where the bear is. It sounded like he was fighting a bear out there. Or somebody was. They couldn't have won, though. There's no way. I mean, a radiated zombie fighting a bear might do it, but I don't think a regular zombie fighting a bear, like, especially a zombie bear, would win. There's no way. All right, what do we got here? Power attacks knock down your enemy. Ah, uh, we're knocking him down pretty good. All right, a little bit of ammo. Really hoping for more books, man. I think, you know, some of these cracker book boxes, I've broken into them and then only found, like, um, paper. They should, you know, give you at least one book. At least one book. Uh, I don't know. Feeling ripped off again. I mean, I gotta loot these pies. I don't know what else to loot. Uh, find more brass. Alright, well. I didn't bring my lockpicking thing in, but whatever. Or did I? I did. I broke a lockpick, but we found some today, so it's worth it. I don't know if 100 coins is worth it, but we'll find out once we break into this thing. Alright, see what we got. Ooh, level 6 double barrel and a marksman rifle. Okay. Um, I think the marksman rifle we'll use for the house just for shooting people in the head from a distance. The double barrel, though, is a 1710, and we can fit four things in this. See, this is what I've been using, like, in my offline play series with the bit horde base I'm about to build. The, a level six double barrel, and I can with double this double barrel shotgun and pipe bombs. It's just gonna ruin hordes. So we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna use this for horde night, and I'll just show you that you don't even need like a pump shotgun for a horde. You just you don't need it. All right, how do we get out of here? We could go out the back door, I guess, but we need to loot the front here. So the bear seems to have wandered off. That doesn't mean he's gone. So we're going to go ahead, give me a hatch here. We probably won't need it, but worst case scenario, we can come back in here and block that off. All right, let's loot this place and hopefully the bear's not inside here. Okay, so we kind of cleared the back part of the store here. We did find one book we haven't e read yet. Uh, headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Definitely going to be using that with the shotgun. 
on the horde night that's for sure all right let's see what else we got in here okay we're getting pretty full here did find a tech junkie here robotic turret shells we use that um we found a couple of other things the bar brawler I, i'm not going to use my fist so i'm just going to uh sell that but um actually what, what's this here drinking beer no longer blurs your vision and your buzz lasts twice as long well we might as well use it structural brace mod um Sure, we might as well get as many mods as we can. Sniper rifle. This is a four times scope. I don't think we might we might use it on the sniper. I don't know. I think we picked up a two times in here as well. Here it is here. Two times scope. Schematics. We'll grab that. Alright, let's see what else we got. Is that a bear? Why do I think everything is a bear now? Okay, so we did find the M60 machine gun schematic, but apparently it's still one of the books too, so I guess. Hot purify water. That's actually good. Um, so I guess... Yeah, I didn't realize it had its... I guess it ha does have its own schematic now. I didn't think it had its own. But I guess so. Alright, well that's it for this place. Right? We got everything here? Yeah, alright. Well, not amazing. We didn't find the schematics that we wanted. We got another sniper here though. High powered 762. Um, yeah. I mean, I think what we'll do is we'll stop by our trader, sell all these books to him. And then we'll um, head home. Actually, we'll head back to the other trader. Let's drop some stuff that we're going to keep in here. Okay, and the rest of the stuff we'll sell. I think I want to wrench these cars before we go. It'll only take a second here. There's the bear. He's up just by the wrench there. I don't know if you can see him. I wonder if we can wrench this car without him hearing us. I think so. It's hitting the building. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. We're out of here. We're out of here. I'm not taking him on. There's no point. If we need a testosterone, I'd go for it, but not today. Alright, let's see if this guy's got anything amazing quest-wise for us. And then, Trader Restock Day is tomorrow. Cobra Cats. How much is that? Sneak damage plus 50%. Eh. That seems to be the weakest one of the bunch, I think. Each day. Thank you, Survivor. Alright, Steel Sledgehammer 602. Here is your reward. Let's take that one to sell right back to him. I'm not really a sledgehammer user, just too much stamina for me. All right, we'll sell you that. Let's just sell him all of this gack. Ah, we got so many of these parts at home. Like, we got a stack of them at home. That, we can sell you all these. We don't need that. Okay, not bad. 5,000. You got anything? Uh, we already checked your stash. Brass faucet, though. We're going to need a faucet for home. And a bar stool. Wait, uh, what do you got for the house? Small pipes. No thanks, I've already got one. Um, bar stools. I'm going to buy all five of them. I'm going to buy the cooler. Um, filing cabinet? Sure. A couple of AC units for the roof. Let's buy a faucet for the sink. We don't need the old... We don't want a newer sink. Curtains. These are just the crappy old curtains. Top and bottom. Do I want just cur regular curtains? These are those dirty windows. I don't like those. We can make our own. Um, like blackout curtains, maybe. Let's buy four of each. We're going to buy eight bottoms. Because that'll hang them three down, right? This is the top, and then two down underneath each one. All right, I'm gonna buy. I'll buy one of these two. Don't know if I'll use that faucet. Come back now. Yeah, do you got any jobs? We're gonna go work on the base in a second here. So this is northwest. I could really use bookstore, help, friend. No matter what, I'm great. So that's the one that we did the other day. Ah oh, man, we're getting lucky. So we can go clear out that back room that we missed. We'll do that tomorrow. 
clear out the back room that we missed. Go through the whole place again. Hopefully we find the books we need. But right now I think I want to work on the horde base. But the foundation is down. So we just need to start working on it. We've got 3,000 concrete. So that's enough for 150 blocks. Reinforced blocks. So we should be able to lay the, f the main fl floor. Actually, I think I want to build the walls first. I want to build the walls first, I think. The walls in the trough, I think, are the ones that need to get done first. So we'll do that. All right, let's bring this GAC inside. Fuel you up so you're ready to go for tomorrow. Bring all this stuff in and we'll just dump it in the dump chest. And then we'll get to work. All right, we got a little bit of concrete mix. This needs to be cranking out cement now. Did we get all of that in there? We did, and you're all in there too. Beautiful. All right. So we should have all the sand done. We can get a bit of mix going with some stone. I think what I'm going to do, though... Yeah, you know what we're going to do? Um, I'm just thinking resources-wise to have the base ready for the next horde night. Take all this out. We're going to take this out. Um, this, those are the frames. We'll bring some ladders out with us just in case we need them. The curved concrete blocks. We need to make, um, how much? Let's make, um, 28. Right? We'll do it like that. Because we need these for the corners can't make them out of rebar frame unfortunately so um, shape we're gonna go this so we're gonna make the f main floor to cobblestone first and the walls will be reinforced because the, the floor doesn't really matter like not right away um, so let's go ahead and make another 30 of these we're gonna need wood today too, I think. I need wood every day. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Um, um, is not a word. Please don't use it. Pick up that. Pick up that. Okay. So, rebar frame blocks. Actually, so this is we said there was the center. I hear a fucking dog again. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the corner piece. I should go murder that dog. Let's go do that, and then we'll do this. Okay, so that's the frame. Now, where's this dog? I should probably deal with it the bow. There he is. Yeah, we can't break through the, uh... Well, we can shoot him in the head, though. Come on. There we go. At least he's stupid and didn't know to go around. Okay, so, this part can get knocked in. All right, now what we want to do is looking for our angle blocks. So these guys are going here. Uh, we need a trough of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, I did that perfect. Don't think we're going to have enough to do all this. You know what, let's just do the internal ones first. I want to get this wall up at least to a point where I feel kind of protected while I'm doing this. Uh, that's seven. Okay, and we leave the corners. Okay, now we need to do advanced. Actually, let's just grab you first. Oh, uh, no, we need to do... 
Um, the shape on the corners needs to be this guy. Uh, advanced. Because we're setting it up so that we can repair the uh, stuff in there during the night. The uh, fence posts. Like that. Okay. And then here it's the different because it's going to be right there. That's going to be solid. So we don't have to worry about this one. It's just the two outside ones. Okay. This is a little different than the one I built before because uh, the one I built before um, didn't have this uh, back wall. I built it in the middle of a field. So it had four of these sides to it. Actually, that's wrong. That's wrong. That needs to be a full one. And this block above it needs to be this one. I keep forgetting I need to lay the floor. Because this is going to be the floor that we're standing on. So this needs to go away as well. There's 40 concrete I won't get back. Alright, now this guy... Wait, that's this side now, right? Yep. Okay, so you can see what kind of happens here. You throw the pipe bomb, it hits them, it rolls down, sits in the trough, and explodes right here where they're standing. That's the idea. And it works really well. I mean, you could make that flat, but then if they kick it around, if they kick the pipe bomb around, it could bounce out a little more. Or if you throw it wrong, it could bounce out a little more. At least this way, um, the ch uh, chances are it'll stay where you want it to stay. Okay, this needs to be... There we go. It's already starting to dry. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so with these walls in the way, when we're standing in there, uh, we don't take any splash damage at all from the pipe bombs. Grenades, on the other hand, I've tried it with, and we, you'll always take splash damage from grenades, which is terrible, but unless you're standing behind the center pillar. All right, shape. Uh, we want this guy now. And then we go that way. Okay, so now, unfortunately, because I don't think you can do it with these guys. Can you do the thin... You cannot. Okay, so that's it for those. We still got a fair bit of concrete left. Let's bring these down. So now these guys, actually, let's just put a floor down so we can actually work here. So once we get the outside done, we should be able to come out here at night and just finish this part up. Okay, so we got something to walk on now. So now we would grab... Um, Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and I want to make sure... Where's our rebar? Here we go. Shape. We want this one. We're going to do this. And this. Right? Yes. pretty sure that's how we're going to do it. Because I think the guys on the inside, like these ones here, we can, like we can always set it up so we can repair them from in here. So if I can, I can just go in there and repair them. So this will be solid. It's just the, the uh, electric fences on this side that need to be repaired from here. And you can just do it like this. You'll be able to see them and just repair them. One on each side. I had one before set right here, and it made it really tough to see, but we're going to have, like, uh, if we set this up right, one right there, one right there. And it should be an easy C from right here to repair them. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and change this to these guys and advanced, because what we're doing now... is this. 
We're going to double this up later on, but right now we're just going to put the singles in. So this is what stops them from actually getting in the base. So you can't... Um, so spider zombies, dogs, all that stuff won't be able to make it in the base because of this. But what they will be able to do is half climb up that block that we just laid down here at the bottom. They can half climb up here and their face will be sticking like right here. And then that'll be the end of them, of course. So you need to go all the way along. And I probably should add for reinforcement these guys in here now. Okay, so that will be this bit. And we want a copy rotation. And then that should switch it over to the other side. Yep. Okay, now I feel a little bit more secure. I mean, if we get attacked right now, they could jump over this. But at least we're... I don't have to worry about making noise. Okay, let me hammer these in, and then we'll work on the next part. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade these to concrete right now. I want to be able to upgrade the rebar frames, so... We've still got enough to do that, I think. Okay, so now the next part is we go shape. We want to go back. Actually, let's put these guys up first. So we need one on the, each of the corners. You go there. And now we're going to go ahead and get up on here. Okay, so now this one, what we want to do is we're inverting the shape on this one. So we're taking this guy. And, oh, sorry, we want to go advanced. And we're going to invert the shape like that. Because... The next block out here is going to be a wedge tip. And what that does is it stops any zombies that are in here from actually getting up on the roof. Like, you, this is actually the roof now. I usually go up one, one block higher, but this could this could be your roof, and that would be it. They, they wouldn't be able to get up. All right, now that's for this side. And I've, never, I've yet to have a zombie get up on the roof. They just won't. Because they always come to the area that's like right here, the open area, to try and get to you. And they never they never even attempt, they, like they can't pile up on top of each other because there's just no block to do it, right? There's only really one space. Once they walk up that half ramp there, they don't have enough space to pile up on top of each other. So they're just one big line, one big mass of zombies all clustered together that you drop a pipe bomb on, they're dead. Okay. So that's the main structure. And even these tips out here that I'm about to put in, I'm going to do them, I'm not going to do them with um, concrete. I'm just going to upgrade them to cobblestone after we move on. Did we use up all our frames already? No, we didn't. To make some more though. All right. Um, so we're going to use the wedge tips right here. And we can copy the rotation from that, and that will give us our tips here. So the tips go, I could go outside to do this, but there we go. So the tips go like that, and it's like seven along, just like the uh, bottom. Just like that, that's all it's gonna be. All right, so we need uh, another, I should just make another 30 anyway. Don't need that many, but we'll copy rotation here. Once again, we leave the corner, but it's seven in the center, right? Not there. I wish they gave you a fraction of a second to pick these blocks back up again. It's because some of them are frames that you can pick up. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Did I just do that? Some of them are frames you can pick up and some of them aren't, which is really annoying. Like, these guys you can pick up, but these guys you can't. I don't know. I'm just being a little anal, I guess. 
And that's that done. Nice. Now let's go inside and get our... Uh, well, I'll have to fix and paint that later. Um, let's go inside. we got a little bit more cancrete here, too. Not much, but a little bit. Actually, I should probably... Well... Now. We're not going to be able to do the entire corner bit right now. Uh, what are we going to do now? Just trying to think what's the most important thing to get done. We need to get the wires in. So now I can go ahead and pull this out. Okay, we can get back in and out this way now. Leave this door open. We're going to have to pull these blocks out because this is going to be all filled in. I'll probably pull these out as well. Um, we might as well pick these guys up now. Uh, is this one damaged? No. Nice. Alright, so... We've got to get the corners going. Um, wandering Horde. Hey guys! Let's show them how this works. What's up, buddy? The other can't get in. Once the electric fences are there... Oops, missed. Right, we're not going to be shooting groins, we'll be shooting heads because they'll be stuck. Ooh, shut his ass off. Oop. So the crawlers like this guy are the only ones that can actually make it in. Dogs can't make it in. Spiders can't make it in. And there's Nightfall. So that's how it's going to work. Like, it really is like a no-nonsense base. You just stand here and they just, they, they walk up and then you just kill them. So we didn't do any damage to the frames, which is nice, but I think I did some damage under here. Yeah, let's get that repaired. Mm, a little bit there. A little bit there. Alright, so I'm going to keep working on this base overnight. Uh, probably take out all these stairs, get this all knocked in. Um, and then by morning, we're going to be ready to go out. We're going to do uh, more raids tomorrow. Hopefully we can get more than one done tomorrow. We'll do the one for this for this trader. We'll go to the bookstore. Hopefully we can find the books we're looking for. If not, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm going to get the rest of this knocked in. Um, and maybe get one of these towers out here done. Just so you can see how those are going to work. Uh, but that's pretty much it for tonight. So if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear what you think about the base uh, design here. I think this is going to work great once the horde starts up. We don't really need this pillar in here. It just really is for extra structural support. So I might take it out. I don't know. In my other base, I had I built underneath. So I had a ladder going down. But I don't know if we need it for this. I think we can probably just take this out completely. It's a nice pillar to hide behind. If you got people spitting at you, you can just kind of, like depending on the side they're on, you can just hide behind it. But, all right, so I'm interested to hear your comments, all right? So until next time, we'll see you later.